In this video, you will learn how to seamlessly integrate a VoiceFlow chatbot with extensions into your WordPress website. This tutorial provides a step-by-step -step guide, even if your WordPress theme is not compatible with JavaScript extensions. Discover how to overcome common challenges and ensure a smooth chatbot embedding process. In many cases, you may have extensions in your chatbot development. Why extensions? Extensions allow you to bring customized applications or functions to your VoiceFlow chatbot to enhance the user experience. Some applications, such as file upload, payment, etc., are not supported by native VoiceFlow's JavaScript block or function block. In this case, we have to use extensions. If you have extensions in your chatbot and want to embed it to a WordPress website, you may encounter some difficulty in embedding the chatbot. In the following, we will use a chatbot as an example which we previously built in one of our videos. ML just for demo. In the first line, we specify the document type as HTML. We have the opening and closing tags of HTML. In the head, we just simply enter chatbot demo. In the body, we have AP element, this is VoiceFlow chatbot demo. Next, we will need the integration code from VoiceFlow. Let us go back to the canvas. In order to get the integration code, we need to publish our chatbot. We can click on the Publish button, and also this Publish button. Click the Embed Widget button. We see the code snippet. We make a copy of this JavaScript code, and need to paste it before the closing body tag. This code includes the VoiceFlow runtime URL, which is needed for the implementation of the chatbot. It also has the project ID and version ID, and other information. Let us paste the code snippet on the index.html file. For a WordPress website, we can do the same thing. Just paste the code before the closing body tag in the footer.php file. After doing this, the chatbot without extension should be embedded on the WordPress website and work perfectly just like this one. In order to import the extension, we need to change the script type to module. If you do not make the change, the code won't work. We also need to import the extension from its location. We use the keyword import and the extension's name. We need to specify the location of the extension. I have put the extension file and the index.html file in the same folder. Let me make a copy of the file name of the extension. Paste the name and add JS at the end. In the VoiceFlow chat load function, we can see the project ID of our chatbot, which is assigned by VoiceFlow and used to verify the project. There is also general runtime URL, and the version ID is production. Under the version ID, we will add render to embed the chatbot to the localhost website in the body. The render has an object which contains mode and target. We specify the mode as embed because we are going to embed the chatbot onto the website. You can embed the chatbot to a specific target element of your website, such as a specific section. Here I like to embed it in the body so the chat window will occupy the entire web page, which looks to me large with a better view. Next, we are going to add our extension name to the extensions array to let VoiceFlow know and implement our extension. In the assistant, we have an object where we can put our extensions. The extensions array can have many extensions. We can put our extension here. If you have multiple extensions, of course, just enter their names in the extension array, so that all the extensions will be implemented. At this point, we have finished the extension code, and imported the extension to the index.html file. This chatbot has been shown to embed in the localhost website. We can use the same code on a WordPress website. Here I have a WordPress website. Yours may look differently but it should also work. We go to the theme file editor. We can see the files of the theme. Because we need to embed the chatbot code before the closing body tag, we need to find the footer file, which contains the closing body tag. Here, I have a footer file called theme footer, which is a footer.php file. Let us click on the footer file, where we are going to do modification. Let us go to the end of the file. We see the closing body tag. We can paste the embedding code snippet right before the closing body tag. 
First, let us test the code without the extension. If it works, we can move forward to add the extension. So, we are going to comment out the line of code containing the import. We also comment out the render and the assistant with the extension array because we do not have any extensions now. Let us click the update file button to save the changes. Whoops. It looks like there is an error. I cannot save the changes. I am not sure if this is only for my site. If your site allows you to update the file, you can go ahead to save the changes. In this case, you should be able to embed the chatbot into your WordPress website. Let me remove all the changes. As I am not allowed to do modification using the file editor, I will try to use cPanel of my web host. I think I can save changes over there. I am using Bluehost to host my WordPress website. After logging on to the Bluehost account, we can see the account hosting details. I think most of the WordPress websites are hosted by Bluehost, and I feel it is pretty good. If you are using a different one, you can log on to your hosting account to see the details, too. In the quick links, we can click the cPanel button to go to the cPanel. Then, we should go to the file manager to open the file we need, and do modification. Let us click on the file manager, and we can see lots of files. Our WordPress website is usually installed under the folder named public underscore HTML. We can see the WP content folder. There is a themes folder. We can see all the themes downloaded on the website. You can find the current theme used in your website. I am using this, and let us click on it. On the right, we can see a bunch of files. The files are same as those we have seen in the theme file editor. We need to find the footer.php file. Let us confirm to edit the footer file to embed the chatbot. It should be same as the one we have seen using the theme file editor. If your theme is different, you may want to make sure you can find the PHP file which has the closing body tag, because it is where we should put the widget code snippet to embed the chatbot. At the end of the footer file, we do see the closing body tag. Let me paste the code snippet here. Again, let us test the code without the extension first. So, we comment out the line of code containing the import. We also comment out the render and the assistant with the extension array because we do not have any extensions now. For other part of the code, it remains unchanged. Neither do we want to change any code of the footer file. Click the Save Change button to save the file before we move to the website. This time, I do not have any problem in saving the change. Let us go to the website. This chatbot works very well, because we do not have any extension so far. This just is the first step. It shows that we can do the same to embed the chatbot to the WordPress website if there is no extension. As it works, we can move to the next step to include the extension. Back to the code, we need to import the extension from the extension file. We have the extension.js file. We need to add the file to the theme folder, so it can be imported. For simplicity, I will add the file to the same folder as the one where the footer file locates. You can feel free to make yours, and you only need to change the path to the file correspondingly. Let us still comment out the render, because we want to see the chatbot in the dialog window instead of the body. We can modify this later if we want. We need to uncomment the assistant with the extension array, because we now have the extension in the chatbot. As shown in the code, we will import the extension to the chatbot, and we need to add the extension.js file in the path specified in the code. Before we test the code out, do not forget to click the Save Change button. As the file has been saved, we are going to add the extension file to the same folder. I have the extension file on my computer. We can upload the extension file. Back to the panel's file manager, we are now in the folder where the footer file locates. We will add the extension file in the same folder. We click the upload icon to upload the extension file. Click the select file button. In the www folder, click the kb file upload folder. As shown in our previous tutorial, we use the local host to implement the chatbot with the extension. We select the extension file to upload it to the theme folder. As the extension file has been uploaded to the theme folder, 
we can import it to the chatbot. We are going to see it just working, same as that in the local host. Let us test it out on the website. You can refresh the web page or start a new chat. Let us click to start a new chat. We see the bot showing, please upload your files. But it stops and does not display the upload file button. We need the upload file button for the user to click and upload his files. It looks the extension does not work. The reason could be the extension has not been imported to the chatbot. There could be also many other reasons. In order to make sure the code is still working, let us run the chatbot with the local host. We see the file upload button, meaning the extension has been imported to the chatbot. We select a text file to upload to the knowledge base. It shows that the file has been successfully uploaded. Let us go to the voice flow canvas and check if the file is saved in the knowledge base. If we can see the file in the knowledge base, it means that everything works, including the extension code. Otherwise, we may need to check what could be wrong. Here we go. We see the file in the knowledge base, which is just now uploaded. We also can see the data chunks generated by VoiceFlow. Let us delete this file, so we will upload it again when we carry out the next test. After this run, we are confident that the chatbot works, and our extension works like a charm. Let us go to the WordPress website to figure out what can be wrong. We see the message, please upload your files, which means the first text block of the chatbot works. We have the second block, which is a custom action block and connects to the extension. On the footer file of our WordPress website, we have copied the code snippet and pasted it before the closing body tag. The embedding code is same as the one of the local host, which works perfectly. The only thing I can think of is that it looks like the extension file is not imported. On the WordPress website, we see the chatbot window has been shown, and the first text block has been implemented. In order to check if there is an error, it is better to use the developer tools. If there is any error, it will be shown in the console. However, the console looks very clean. Let us click the console tab, and we do not see any error. It means our code does not have errors so far. However, like I said, we are not sure if the extension has been imported. First, let us check if we can see the extension file which locates in the theme folder. If we click the sources tab, we can see the files loaded onto this web page. We can see the WP content folder and WP includes folder. They contains all the necessary files. In the WP content folder, we have the plugins folder, the themes folder, and the uploads folder. The related plugins, themes, and uploads, such as images, are all loaded onto the web page. In the themes folder, it contains the theme files which are currently used. In this themes folder, we can see the assets folder and style.css file. The assets folder has images folder and js folder. In the js folder, there are js files like jQuery, navigation, etc. If we click the wp include folder, we can see the CSS folder and the JS folder. The CSS folder definitely does not have our extension file, because our extension is a JS file. The JS folder has a jQuery folder and other JS files. Again, we do not see our extension file. We have checked the sources, including the WP content folder, the WP includes folder. In the WP content folder, we have checked the themes folder and the assets folder. However, none of these folders contain the extension file. It looks like the extension file has not been loaded. This may be because the theme does not load the JS file. At least my theme does not. If you have the same case, we will figure out a way to solve this problem. We have seen the chat window, which means our widget code snippet has been loaded, we can add the extension JavaScript code in the widget code. In this way, the extension code will also be loaded to the WordPress website. Let us try it out. Before doing that, we may check the code one more time. We have the URL of the extension file. The code should import the extension file from this URL. But it looks like the extension is not imported. So, we need to check the URL. We have placed the extension file in the theme folder. It usually works in the way just like the local host. 
but in WordPress, it works in a different way. It looks like after the WordPress loaded, the code cannot find the location of the extension file anymore. We need to specify the theme folder URL. On the WordPress documentation, we can see the function, get template directory. We can use this function to get the URL of the theme folder, where our extension file locates. Let us make a copy and we will use it in the extension. Back to the code, we will add the function in the URL. This function is a PHP function. So, we need to use the PHP tags. This function returns a string, which will be part of the URL of our extension file. We use the echo keyword to display the string. This will be the theme folder URL. We need concatenate it with the file name of our extension file to get the complete URL. We paste the function to get the template directory, and we echo the string out to get the URL of the theme folder where our extension file locates. Do not forget to remove the dot before the slash. Now we have the entire URL of our extension file by concatenating the theme folder URL and the file name of our extension. Of course, we have the .js at the end. After saving the changes, let us refresh the web page. We are going to see if there is any error in the console at the right. Whoops. We got an error. It shows a 404 not found error. This is supposed to be the URL of our extension file. But it does not seem correct. We also can see in the index file, on line 497, it is the line of the import code. We can see that the function of get the template directory has been replaced by the URL. It looks like the function has returned the path to the active themes template directory, which is an absolute server path including the home, public underscore HTML, WP content, themes, and the active theme. It is the server path, not a URI. Instead of the server path, we need a something like the domain name slash WP content slash themes slash active theme which is pointing to the theme folder where our extension file locates. The function get the template directory does not return the URL we need. On the WordPress document, there is another function which returns the URI of stylesheet directory. This is what we need. Let us make a copy of this function, get stylesheet directory URI, including the brackets. In our theme folder, we have the stylesheet. The style sheet and our extension file are in the same folder. So, we can use the URI of the style sheet in our import code. We replace the function and click to save changes. Hopefully, we can get the correct URL. Sometimes themes or plugins do crazy things. You never know. Let us check it out. We are going to refresh the web page. Let us do hard reloading because we have made changes and need to reload the saved file. After reloading, if we have the correct URL, the error in the console will disappear, and hopefully the extension file will be imported to the chatbot. We see the page has been refreshed and the error in the console has gone. It says, paused in debugger. It has not finished loading yet, because we have marked the code line 498. Let us click on this line and exit the debugging mode, and continue to finish the loading. It looks everything is normal. Let us check if we get the URL correct. The URL shows the domain, WP content, themes, the current active theme name, and the extension file name. It looks just correct. This time we got it. If you have followed along, hopefully your website also works. If not, some themes and plugins may do some weird things. I will show you how to fix it later. Let us check the chatbot to see if the extension has been uploaded. In order to load the new chat, we need to close the chat window and end the old chat. Click the bubble again, and start new chat. We see the file upload button. This means the extension has been successfully loaded. Let us test to upload a file to the knowledge base. We select a text file, which we have used previously. It works just like the local host. It shows that your file has been uploaded. Again, we will check the knowledge base to see if there is such a file uploaded. Let us go to voice flow. In the knowledge base, we can see the text file we just have uploaded. This means that the chatbot has been embedded to the WordPress website, and the extension has been successfully imported.
the extension has functioned as expected. So far, everything works perfectly. If you have followed along, and the chatbot with the extension has worked in your WordPress website, I would say good job, and congratulations to you. However, if you still have problems in embedding the chatbot with extensions, it may be due to some themes or plugins conflicts. I will show you another way to fix it. Let us delete the file, so the knowledge base does not have the file, and we will upload it again at a later time. We are going to put the entire extension code in the chatbot embedding widget code snippet. This is the most straightforward way. As long as the chatbot can be loaded, the extension can be loaded too, because the extension code is a part of the chatbot embedding widget code snippet. It is no longer a separate file, which needs to be imported. Now we are going to open the extension file in a new window. We will put the extension code in the chatbot snippet instead of importing it from a separate file. We select the entire code and make a copy of the extension code. In the footer.php file, let us paste the extension code under the line of import. If we check the code, it looks fine. But we do not need the export keyword. So, let us delete it. After that, we can click the Save Changes button to save the footer file. Next, we are going to check if it works on the WordPress website. Let us refresh the page. Whoops. We see an error shown in the console. It says uncaught type error. In line 592, it shows an error. It does not recognize this function. Maybe we have missed a semicolon. Or we may put the extension code below the function. Back to the footer file, let us do Ctrl Z and remove the extension code and paste the code again under the variables v and s and before v.onload callback function. The entire extension code is inside the function. When the chatbot code snippet is loaded, the extension code will be also implemented. So, even if the theme does not import a separate extension file, this extension code can be implemented. Let us refresh the web page. We see another error in the console. This time, it shows a syntax error with an unexpected token export. It looks I forgot to delete the keyword export. Let us delete it and click to save the changes. Hope this is the last error we have. Let us refresh the page again. Yes. We do not have any other errors in the console. I am glad to see a clean console. Let us click the bubble to open the chat window. Let us start a new chat. After the chat loaded, we see the Upload File button. We click to upload a file. We can select the same file to upload, which we have used previously. After a while, it shows that your file has been successfully uploaded. This indicates the chatbot works as expected, and the extension also has been implemented. The last step is to check the knowledge base again. If we see the newly uploaded file in the knowledge base, we can finally say everything works. Let's refresh the page to see the knowledge base. Bingo! We can see the file just uploaded. We also can see the data chunks generated by VoiceFlow. This is perfect. Finally, we can say for sure the extension has been implemented as expected. In this video, we have shown you how to embed a chatbot to your WordPress website. If you have extensions, do not panic. We can import the extension file or directly put the extension code in the chatbot embedding code snippet. What you need to do is paste the chat embedding code snippet before the closing body tag. Then, upload the extension file to the theme folder and import it to the chatbot using the correct URL. If, for some reason, the import fails, we have the ultimate solution for you. That is, we can put the extension code directly in the chatbot code snippet. In this way, when the chatbot is loaded onto the WordPress website, the extension can be definitely implemented. Finally, do not forget to add all your extension names in the extensions array. That is all for today's video. Hope you feel this video helpful. If you like this video, please subscribe and give a thumbs up. If you have any comments and suggestions, please let us know. Thank you for your support.